watch over me Watch over me, oh y'all, through my trials and tribulations Until I rest in peace Until that day, until your day I'm on my bending knees You know who watch over me You ain't righteous. You ain't righteous. Does the black cop? What does that mean? Give me that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness. And it shall be our righteousness. If we observe to do all these commandments. do what? If we observe to do all these commandments. Before the most high, our power. For what? For the most high, our power. For what? Before the most high, our power. For the most high, our power. That's not Christ. That's right, because Christ is not a white man. He's a black man. Right. He's a black man according to the Bible. Come on. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. It don't make no, sense real, reading this shit when you don't even live. His head and his hair were so white fake. like wool. Read again. As white as you're snow. Fake. Read again. You're his head fake. and his hair you're were white fake. like wool. Read again. His head and his hair were white like wool. Read again. His head and his hair were white like wool. Right. The hands on Christ's head was white like wool. Read again for the top. Read, give me one and one. This is the revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ, the what? which God gave unto him the what? to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. You can't gather? God is no. Why not? Like this. God is everything. It doesn't matter. We He's teach our own time. Oh, the same bloodline of all creation. Why do we have to wrap it up? What is this? Now, ain't nobody disturbing, but oh man, I've been here the whole time, man. He, he just got irate because a message is being resonated, and he don't like how I feel because he's a part of something that, that don't have nothing to do with this. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things, which must shortly come to pass. Which shall shortly come to pass. Which shall what? Which shall shortly come to pass. Right, so we're out here, we teach you the Bible. Okay? That's celebrated Christmas. Where's Christmas mentioned in the whole Bible? Okay? Give me uh give me Colossians. Colossians 2 and 8. Sure, man. He can't, he can't be Why are we going to teach you all the time? We teach you, we teach you all the time. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2 and verse 8. Right? Beware, lest any man spoil you. Beware, what? Lest any man spoil you. That's what? Lest any man spoil you. Come on. Do vain philosophy. Do philosophy and vain deceit. Do what? Do philosophy and vain deceit. Do philosophy and vain deceit. Yes. Do that again. After. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Do philosophy and vain deceit. Do what? Do philosophy and vain deceit. Do philosophy and vain deceit because you can't stop the truth. Why? Because these are the most high support of the circle of the Okay, we are here to fish men. Okay? Do what you got. Beware, lest any man spoil you. Do philosophy and vain deceit. Uh -huh. After the tradition of okay. men. What is Christmas? After the tradition of men. men. Come on. After the rudiments of the world. After what? After, After the, the rudiments, rudiments of, of the world. world. Wait, what is Christmas? After, After the, the rudiments, rudiments of, of the world. world. What is Easter? After, After the, the rudiments of the world. world. What is Halloween? After, After the, the rudiments, rudiments of, of the world. world. Give me uh, Mark 7 and 7. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship me? How what? How be it in vain do they worship me? 
teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Right, what is Christmas? The commandments of men. Right, Christmas is the, is the, the commandments of men. Where in the Bible does it say to celebrate Christmas? Either? Book of Second Corinthians, chapter 13, and verse 8. Come on. For we can do nothing against the truth. You hear that, brother? We can do what? Nothing, nothing against, against the, the truth. truth. We can do nothing against the truth. Come on. But for the truth. But what? But for the truth. What? But for the truth. Give me a word of the most, I don't go out and go out. Teach out here all the time. Is your superior here? Is your superior here? Is your superior here? Your superior here? Your superior here? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Well, where's all the people that stand up against the wicked things that are going on in this country? Read that again. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, Come on. but it shall accomplish that which I please. But what? But it shall accomplish that which I please. Right, these are the last days according to Bible prophecy. Before every great kingdom was destroyed, the Most High God sent forth his servants the prophets to form one that generation. A lot of you say that you believe in God, but you don't keep the commandments that are contained in the Holy Bible. Okay, what you holding in? Read that, read on. And it, and it shall prosper in the things where two I sent it. And what? And, and it shall prosper in the things where two I sent it. Right, because why? We were sent out here by the Most High God. The God of who? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? Give me Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. Come on, you can do nothing against the truth. Can I want to give you pastors? Jeremiah 3 and 15. Great. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 8. Come on. For we can do nothing against the truth. For what? But we, we can, can do, do nothing, nothing against, against the truth. truth. Right. They try, they try to stop the word of God. These are not our words. We were set up by here the most high God, the God of who? The God of Aaron, Isaac, and Jacob in this Bible. The full warning that what? That America is going to be destroyed according to the Bible prophecy. Read it again. Book of 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 8. Right. Somebody put the speaker in the car so you didn't have nothing to talk about. Put it in the car. Read it again. For we can do nothing against the truth. Read again. For we can do nothing against the truth. Read again. For we can do nothing against the truth. We can do nothing against the truth. Come on. But for the truth. But what? But for the truth. Right. Because why? These are not our words. These are the words of the Heavenly Father. A lot of you say you believe in God, but when we bring out the Bible, it's a problem. Okay. Come on, read. Verse verse nine. For we are glad when we are weak. A lot of you say you believe in. Why did they crucify Christ? Christ said, I can't speak the words of my father, but they crucified him on the cross. Right? The same way that you want to crucify us, the sons of the Most High God. Why? Because we're bringing out the truth. Give me uh, Galatians 4. Have I become an enemy because I tell you the truth? Read on. Read. And ye are strong. And this also we wish. Even your perfection. Even what? Even your perfection. Right? Because God wants us to be perfect. But we're living in an imperfect world. Okay, we are living in an imperfect world. Give me First John two fifteen. What you got? I was just I just finished reading that. The book of First John chapter uh, two and verse fifteen. Come on. Love not the world. Read that again. Love, love not, not the, the world. world. The Bible says, "Love not the world." Christmas is of the world. We talk about Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a shiny nose, or Santa Claus coming down your chimney. Where is that? What does that have to do with with the Bible? What does Rudolph the red nose have to do with the God of the Bible? Read on. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. We're not worried about him, brother. We're not worried about him. We're not I'm not engaging with him. There's no argument, brother. I appreciate you. For all that is in the world. Read again for the top. Love not the world. Read again. Neither the things that are in the world. Read again. If love not the world. Come on. Neither the things that are in the world. Come on. If any man love the world. If what? If any man love the world. Right. A lot of you love this world. That's why you come against the prophets of the Most High. That's right. But you can't stop this. Why? Because we were sent out here by the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read. If any man love the world, Read. the love of the Father is not in him. A lot of you say you love God, but when you hear the words of God, you have a problem. Okay? But you put on your mask, you take your COVID-19 shot. But God tells you to keep the, the dietary laws. Give me some of the dietary laws. Give me uh, uh, Leviticus 7. Read that. Book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 20. Come on. And he said, that which cometh out of the man, 
that defiled the man from the top. Book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 20. Right? And he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. Come on. For from within, out of the heart of the men. Out of what? Out of the heart of the men. Come on. Proceed evil thoughts. Proceed what? Proceed evil thoughts. Proceed evil thoughts. Come on. Adulteries. Right. Fornication. Right. Murderers. Right. Thefts. Covetousness. Wickedness. Right. Deceit. Lasciviousness. And evil eye. Right. So all these things we see going on in society. Right? All these things we see going to society, but you say, God bless America. Where's America being blessed? America's being cursed on a daily basis. Okay? As we speak, the angels are wreaking havoc on America right now. That's why you see the hurricanes, the earthquake, the tornadoes, the tsunamis, the floods, the forest fires. And you say what? You say that's Mother Nature. Where's Mother Nature in the Bible? Right. Where's Mother Nature mentioned in the Bible? Give me Isaiah, Isaiah 28. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 7. Read. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. Read that again. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. You know that, them. Right. If we weren't in, if we weren't protected by the most high, we would have been moved out of here a long time ago. Okay? But a lot of you take this thing for granted. You take this thing as a joke. Right? But the powers of heaven encamped around us. Read it again. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. And do what? And delivereth them. And do what? And delivereth them. What we deliver? They try to move us, right? They can't do nothing against us. You read it again from the top. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them. That fear him. Come on. And deliver it them. And do what? And yeah, deliver it them. Oh, pray to be to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. By Shem Yahweh Shah. By Shem Yahweh Shah. Read again. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver it them. Come on, I had another one. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 78. In verse 49, right? he cast it, he cast upon them the fierceness of his anger. He did what? He cast upon them the fierceness of his anger, Come on. wrath and indignation Come on. and trouble by sending evil angels. By doing what? By sending evil angels. By sending evil angels. Come on. Among them. Among who? Among them. Right? He made a way to his anger. He did what? He made a way to his anger. Come on. He spared not their souls. Right. See, a lot of a lot of you don't understand the God of the Bible, man. He's gonna bring judgment and wrath in these last days. It's either you're gonna get down, you're gonna lay down with the Most High God, the God of who? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. That's right. Read what you got? No, give me. Yeah, give me what I. Uh, yeah, give me that. Book of Proverbs, chapter 16 and verse 7. When, when a man's ways please the most high. When what? When, the, when, when a man's ways, ways please, please the most high. high. When a man's ways please the most high. Come on. He maketh even his enemies. He do what? He maketh even, even his enemies. He do what? He maketh even his enemies. He maketh even his enemies. Come on. To be at peace with them. To be at what? To be at peace with them. To who? To be at peace with them. We don't get for the top. Oh, we, can't, we can't make this thing up, brother. The book of Proverbs, Listen, chapter relax, 16, relax, 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 and verse relax, 7. Relax, relax, relax. When a man's ways please the most high, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. He make even his enemies to be at peace with him. Come on. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenues without right. A man's heart devises his way but the Most High directed his steps. Right, the Most High directed his He said, oh, he said, what did the guy say? Oh, I'm gonna let you guys stay here. <laughs> Cause the Most High directed his steps. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. And yeah, like he was doing me a favor. Right. Right? Right. But the word of the Most High don't go out void. Okay. We are here to, to broadcast Independence Day to the 12 child of nation of Israel. God, don't make no mistake. Give me Isaiah 61 verse one. What about you, brother? You read the Bible? You read the Bible? No? Believe in God? A little bit? You're empty? Read that. Book of 2 Kings, chapter 6 and verse 16. And he answered, Fear not. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Read it again. Book of 
2 Kings chapter 6, verse 16. And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us. For they that be with us, come on. Are more than they that be with them. Right, because while we got invisible entities that are God protecting us. That's right, right, you right, right. See. Okay, read that again. Book of 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 16. And he answered, Fear not. For they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Are more than be with them. Right? Because their hands too, are too short to box with your how about show y'all shot. That's, That's right. right. That's right. We're not mere men. We are here sit out here by the most high God to teach good title to our people. To preach the kingdom of heaven to tell you what? That it is at hand. Give me Matthew 10 verse 5. You may ask 5 and 29. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 5. Come on. These 12, Jesus sent forth and commanded them. So Christ and Mashiach Yahweh shot, sent forth his disciples. Come on. And commanded them, saying. And he did what? Commanded them, saying. He commanded them, saying. Come on. Go not. What? Go not. Come on. Into the way of the Gentiles. He said, don't go to the other nation. Don't go to the Gentiles. Come on. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. But go what? But go rather. But go rather, come on. To the lost sheep. To the who? To, to the, the lost, lost sheep. sheep. To the what? To, to the, the lost, lost sheep. See, our people are lost. But now we're here to find you and bring you back to the Most High God. Come on. To the lost sheep of the oh, house of, of Israel. Israel. That's who you are. You're the lost sheep of Israel. Okay, come on. May I grab a token? And as ye go. Preach, saying, and as you go, preach, saying, what? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. The what? The, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But guess what, brother? The kingdom of heaven starts within you. Give me that. The kingdom of heaven starts within you. You got to realize that. That you are the kingdom, that you got to magnify yourself. That's what a lot of our people don't know. We are kings and queens in exile. But she was happy. But she's a queen, not a king. You are queen of exile. Okay? Can I say something? You are, tell me your queen. Please, please, tell me your queen first. Please, if you're not a queen, I'm not a king. Are you a queen? I'm not a sissy. Are you a queen? I'm not a pump. Are you a queen? I am abstinence. You are judging my sex life. Are you a man or woman? My gentle, my gentle. Are you a man or woman? I am a king. Are you a man or woman? I'm a king. Are you a man or woman? I'm a king. What's your, what's, what's you just what's your birth certificate? I am a king. What's the name of your birth certificate? Right here. And so ask him what he a man or woman. Stop talking to your imaginary friend. I keep telling you that. A king means when I say. It's the book of Matthew <laughs> chapter 15 and verse 24. Come on. But he answered and said, I, I am not sent. He what? I, I am, am not sent. sent. So Christ said, I am not sent. Come on. But well, unto the lost sheep. sheep. Of, of the house of Israel. Israel. Who needs microphones when we got men in the most high? That's, That's right. right. He's louder than the mic. Okay, they did us a favor. Read that again. That's but right. But he answered and said, I am I'm not sent, sent but unto, unto the lost sheep, sheep of the house of, of Israel. Israel. He said, I'm not sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Come on. Then came. Read it again. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. We ought to obey the Most High, Yahweh. Come on. That. The God of our fathers come on. raised up Jesus. He raised up Christ from our shaking Come on. Whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Right, so he said color doesn't matter. The only reason why they crucified Christ, why? Because he was a black man. And you're gonna tell me color don't matter. Just like they do today. You had Emmett Till. Okay? Rodney King. Okay? You had all these people. What's the guy with the uh, Trayvon Martin? Right. Okay, all these different, you tell me it wasn't related to color? What are you talking they, they, they about? They don't see that pattern. Why? Because they he's a white, he has, he has white privilege. That's why he don't see it. Okay, even as a drunk white man, he still has privilege in America. Okay, come on. This is the book of 2nd Edris, chapter 6 and hold verse on, 50. Hold on, hold on, read. Him hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. To be a prince and a savior. Now who is Christ, who did he come to save? Did he come to save all people? Did Christ come to save all people? I gotta, I gotta say, oh, all God creation, not this person, not this person. I come to create all it's, it's so funny.
funny how how the oh, people, we yeah. had a meek and a work, right? The we so-called blacks and Hispanics. We the ones in the ghettos and slums, but we still try to look out for the other nations. Do they care about us? They don't care about us. But we wanna we wanna love all people. They don't love us. Okay? They don't love us. Okay? You, you we our people we look for love in all the wrong places. Right. Okay, read on. For to give repentance. Want to give repentance? Come on. To Israel. To, who? to, to Israel. Israel. Chinese. To, to Israel. Chinese. To Israel. Japanese. To, to Israel. Israel. Man. To, to Israel. Israel. To, to Israel. Israel. Indian. To, to Israel. Israel. It's all about the nation of Israel, brother. That's who you are. So I'm gonna ask you again. What's your nationality? What you gonna tell me? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So a lot of people think that the most side dealing with these big numbers. If we save one soul tonight, we did our job. Now, now we we were facing being the brother said that we he was gonna arrest us, right? Right. But what did I do? Hold up, uh, send me behind. Give me pose the mic. Give me your um Wait, right. when I met Jesse, what Jesse said? Well Jesse yeah, started yeah, yeah, yeah. dipping out, what do you say? Oh, uh, here's a light. What that mean? Read that. Being the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Right? The wicked flee when no man pursue it. See, this guy, he went down the block. Read it again. The, the wicked, wicked flee when, when no man, man pursue it. Come on. But the righteous are bold as a lion. But what? But the righteous are bold as a lion. But who? But the righteous are bold as a lion. But who? But the righteous are bold as a lion. So the wicked flee when nobody's on, on his pursuit, on his behind. But what? But, but the, the righteous, righteous are bold as a lion. We right here, we ain't going nowhere. That's right. Y'all see that book Y'all see Cat was like, yo, we gonna, we gonna lock y'all up. Right? We hear the same thing. They, that's their, any time the truth comes out, they wanna, they wanna lock us up. Oh, no, 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 oh yeah, hush, hush. I'm gonna send one out there to shut it up. You understand what I'm saying? Cause a disruption. But this is the most size program. That's right. Oh, of course, of course. The only way to divide come. Okay, this is the most high program. So it can't be stopped. This is the book of Luke, chapter 17 and verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Why they come in? A lot of people didn't look at the sun to pop out of the sky. Come on. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there. Right? For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. It's what? It's within, it's within you. you. It's who? It's, it's within, within you. you. Give me first Corinthians 3 and 16. Can I notice one thing? The habit that you got, you got to shake that habit, that smoking habit, you got to put that oh, yeah. away. Come on. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Come on. Know ye not. What? Know ye not. Come on. That ye are the temple of God. That what? That ye are the temple of God. That ye are the temple of God. Come on. And that spirit, and that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. And what? And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Come on. If any man defile the temple of God. And what? If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple of God. Come on. Him shall God destroy. Him shall what? Him shall God destroy. Him shall what? Him shall God destroy. So that's why you don't want the most high to destroy you. That's one person that you don't want to be on your on your bad list. You don't want no pressure with the most high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't want no pressure with the most high. The book of Sirach, chapter 1, and verse 26. Huh? If thou desire wisdom, what? If, if thou, thou desire, desire wisdom, if thou desire wisdom, brother, come on. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. See, this is why people lack wisdom. Because why? We taught that what? That the laws are done away with. That's the teaching of the church, right? The laws are done away with, but pay me your tithes. Right. Read that again. The book of Sirach, chapter 1 and verse 26. If thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and the Most High shall give her unto thee. And what? And the Most High shall give her unto thee. Right, so the Most High, he compares wisdom in a, in a female form because why? You're supposed to cling to that to the wisdom like you cling to a woman. You're supposed to develop a relationship. 
This is the book, book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 3 and verse 19. For the wisdom of this world. For what? For the wisdom of this world. Right, because even though Dr. CB, he had certain knowledge of herbs, he was still not able to combat the wickedness of this world. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you gotta put all those things in perspective. Yeah, he had the knowledge of herbs and how to deal with your body and stuff like that, but he didn't know the God of the Bible. Or, or the people that have. You understand? Exactly. exactly. Because the Bible says, give me the trust not your enemy. Read on. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Is what? Is foolishness. It's who? Is it's foolishness. Come on. With God. Right. They, they make a car that goes 200 miles, but then they set a speed limit 50, 50 miles an hour. So you can drive, so they can try and give you a speeding ticket. What's the logic in that? What? You buy a pack of cigarettes, but on the side it says, make, the certain general says you may cause cancer. What's the logic in that? What? So show me that. Read it again. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Is what? Is it's foolishness with God. Right, so now that you took, you, you, you saw the Tuskegee experiment, experiment where they were purposely injecting black men with syphilis. Sis, sis, hello. Sis, stop talking to your imaginary friends. Stop it. Get rid of him. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Read again. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. Come on. For it is written, he taketh the wise in, his, in their own craftiness. But well, the Moses said he take the wise in their own craftiness. Come on. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise. Right, the Moses said he know the thoughts of the wise. That they the are vain. The book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. Right. Never trust thine enemy. What? Never so trust thine enemy. enemy. Right, so now you going to be glad to get that COVID-19 shot. Read that again. Never trust thine enemy. Come on. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So is what? So, so is his wickedness. wickedness. Why? Because why? From the 1600s up until now, what has changed? The white man slaughtered over 100 million North American Indians when he came into America. Right? But they'd say, oh, well, that's the past. What do your nation say? Right. Are you an Israelite? What, what the Bible says in the Bible? What do the Bible say? You do not blemish. Right? What you talking about? What blemish mean? What are you talking about? What blemish mean? You, you said you said I got a measure that friend. What, you, what is blemish? What's your nationality? Look at this shit. I'm gonna take a break because she's talking to imaginary friends. What's your nationality? You better not let him get away. He's not gonna come over here and disrespect the world. American? And you know where the term America come from? And, and try to be on their side. Yes, we huh? are we here to USA. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Under Satan's authority. This is choice. Do you understand yeah, that we going as a child we were taught the things of a child? But as men, we gotta come up with an insight to understand of this Bible. Because all the other nations, they have an identity. Right? You see a Chinese, you say what? What's your nationality? You said I'm Chinese, Japanese. Why do black people we have all these different understandings of who we are? The Bible says that we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So now we got to understand that if you don't know your past, you're not going to have a future, brother. If you don't know where you came from, you're not going to know where you're going. You are Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. That's your true identity. You got to repent, come back to the Lord's said the commandments. Okay? That's your salvation. Read that. Book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 1. Come on. What advantage then have the Jew? So it says, what advantage? There's an advantage of being a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. Come on. Or what profit is there of circumcision? Being chosen. We are the chosen people of God, sis. You are Hebrew Israelite. You are a queen, you're not a king. Get it right. Come on. Is she here? Much every way. Much every way. Come on. Cheaply, 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 come on. Because that unto you, them you, you were committed the oracles of God. Right, the oracle, the laws and the commandments are given to us. Together. Come on. Right. For what if some did not believe? Right, for they what? For what if she don't believe she's a queen, she's not a king? Come on. Shall their unbelief, shall her unbelief, come on. Make the faith of God without effect. Make the faith of God without effect, come on. God forbid. Most high forbid, come on. 
Yea, let God be true. Let what? Let God be true. Let God be true. Let Yahweh be true. Come on. But every man a liar. But what? But every man a liar. But who? But every man a liar. Every man or woman that is contrary to the Bible, a liar. Come on. As it is written. As what? As it is written. As it's written. Where in the Bible? Come on. That thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. Right. That's why we were justified. Right. Right. The guy was using all his profanity. He called me all these names. But when the cops came, what did they say? We preaching the Bible. You never gave me that shoot. I remember we'll come in enemy, Galatians 4. Give me that. 416. Read that. Let me show you something. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 4 and verse 16. Come on. Am I therefore become your enemy? Am I what? Am, Am I, I therefore, therefore become, become your, your enemy? enemy? Am I therefore become your enemy? Come on. Because I tell you the truth. Because what? Because, because I, I tell you the truth. truth. I tell you that you're a queen, you're not a king. Really I am all. Am I therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. Because what? Because I tell you the truth. Because what? Because I tell you the truth. Because we tell you the truth. We love you, sis. We love you. That's why we're here. That's right. And guess what? They okay. already got their own truth. Come on, read. The that. book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 9. Read. Right? That this is a rebellious people. That what? That, that this, this is, is a rebellious people. people. That who? That, that this, this is, is a rebellious, rebellious people. people. This is a rebellious people. Come on. Lying children. They what? Lying, Lying children. children. Right. She says she's a king. She's not a queen. Come on. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. She, that will what? Will so not hear the, the law, law of, of the, the Lord. Lord. Right. That will not hear the law of the Lord. Come on. Which say to the seers, yes, you say to us, come on, see not. Don't see, don't don't tell us those things. No, we don't want to hear that. Don't question. tell us, come read. And to the prophets, and to the who? And to the prophets, to the prophets, come on. Prophesy not unto us right things. Don't tell us right things, come on. Speak unto us smooth things. Right, come out here like purple hollow, TD snakes, or Joe Osteen's. Okay, that's what they want. They want me to come up here and move walking. Okay, real. Prophesy deceit. Do what? Prophesy deceit. Do what? Prophesy deceit. So you want us to lie to you. Come on. Come on. Get out of the way. Do what? Get, get out, out of the way. way. Right. Get, off the, get off the street. We don't want to hear that word. Come on. Get Turn aside out of the path. Do what? Turn aside out of the path. Right. Get out of the way. Come on. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. We so you don't want to hear about the Most High. How we don't see no God. Okay. You don't want to hear about the. Give me uh, Isaiah no, one verse three. We don't see no God. You want some more? This is the book of Isaiah chapter one and verse three. The ox knoweth his owner. So what do we know about the ox? What's the what's the characteristics of the ox? It's known as what? Like a stubborn animal, right? So even though that ox is stubborn, he knows who his owner is, right? Come on. And the donkey. And what? And, and the, the donkey. donkey. So what do we know about the donkey? What kind of animal is the donkey? It's considered what? A dumb animal, right? So I said, read it again. And the donkey is master's crib. So even though a donkey is a dumb animal, he knows where he lives, where he belongs, right? Come on. But Israel, but, but Israel, Israel, what? But, but Israel, Israel, but Israel, come on. Do it not, no. <laughs> Listen, I can't make this thing up. Okay. Now what's in Israel? Yeah. Israel. Yeah. Testimony that we're gonna have to But Israel do it not know. But what? But Israel do it not know. Right, we are the real Jews according to the Torah. You know that, right? Israeli. You're Israeli. Right. Where in the Torah is it Mrs. Israeli? It's not there, right? Why not? You tell me, you study Torah, right? Do yeah. you see Israeli in Torah? No. You see Israel in Torah? You see Israel, not Israeli. Like you're American. Because so Israeli, no, you say Israeli over there because it tells you that because you know you're not the indigenous people okay. of, of the Torah. Right? Moses was Musa, he was what? He was a so-called black man. Right? Yes. So where did, where did the where did the conversion? Give me Revelation two verse nine. This is the book of Revelation. <laughs> this is the book of Revelation, chapter two and verse nine. Hold I on. know Hold thy on. works. What, what, what did you see, my friend? Read again. This is the book of Revelation, chapter two and right. verse nine. Right, because for so many years there's lies have been taught about the real Jews and Israelites according to the Bible. But as we see these things unfolding in prophecy. 
in the world, what's happening? Hashem is making a change in the universe. That's right. Right? He is magnifying the true children of the Torah. That why? So we can finally have peace because why? There's no peace now. You guys are, you guys are practicing the Torah? Of course. We keep Shabbat, we kept the Kanaka. Oh, really? Okay, that's yeah. right. Read. I know thy works Come on. and tribulation right. and poverty, right. but thou art rich. Come on. And I know the blasphemy, and I know the blasphemy. Come on. of them which say they are Jews. Of what? Of them which say they are Jews. Of them which say they are Jews. Come on. And are not. And what? And are not. And who? And are not. And are not. But who are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. But who are they? Are the synagogue of Satan. But are the synagogue of Satan. Right? What do they have? What is you ever been in Jerusalem? Huh? You ever been in Jerusalem? I go over here for Pesach. I didn't go this year because of the COVID-19. Yeah. Right? Uh, the, 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 somebody, get his number, get his God, number. God bless you guys. Listen, God bless you. you got to bless us because that's the only way you're going to get your blessing. Because if you curse the children of Israel, what happens? Give me that. If I will pass them that. Uh, no, it's Genesis. Huh? Genesis, yeah. Hold on a second. Let me show you something. The only way you're going to get your true blessing is that you bless the real children of Israel. And if you curse us, you're going to get a curse. That's a, that's in Torah. Right? Read that. I grew up that thing. You grew up? All right. So you got to understand. You have to you have respect for the truth. Right? That's right. You got to have respect for the real truth. Look at Genesis chapter 12 verse 3. Right? And I will bless them that bless thee. Read it again. And I will bless them that bless thee. Right? And curse him that curseth thee. So that was the right thing for you to do. Because if you would have cursed me, then you would have put you would have put coals on your head. Read again. No again. Look at Genesis chapter twelve, verse God, three. God bless right? you, and I will God. bless them that bless Thank thee, right? and curse him that curseth thee. Did you hear that, brother? The Most High said He's going to curse those that curse us and bless those that bless us. What you're going to find is that you are a real Jew and Israelite, according to the Bible. You're not a black man. You're not Asiatic. You're not African American. You're not Nubian. Okay. These are the last days, but you got to get back your true identity. Who are you? You're a person of God. You're a person of God. Who are the children of God? Everyone. Everyone. Where's that in the Bible? Huh? Where's that in the Bible? I mean, if we, it, I mean, sometimes, I mean, like it says, the you read truth, the Bible. The truth, the truth open to those who seek. Wait, what is truth? The truth is those who seek for it. What is the definition of truth, brother? Give me truth. The truth is the God in you that speaks to you, right? Okay, do you believe in the Bible? I believe in God. Do you believe in the Bible? I believe in God. But do you read the Bible? Do you read the Bible? Do you I see God in person? No, I talk to him. You talk to him? Yeah. For myself. By yourself? Know how you talk to God? Ask him. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, and verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Right, so the most I he chose the nation of Israel. Right? So you mentioned truth. Give me truth according to the Bible. Right? The book of Psalms. Chapter 119 and verse 142. Give, give thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Come on. And, and thy law is the truth. And what? And, and thy, thy law, law is, is the, the truth. truth. So the law, statute, commandments to the most high God, that's the truth according to the Bible. That's right. And the laws of God were only given to the nation of Israel. Okay? Read what you got. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Come on. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. Right, all to the Bible, you read about the children of Israel. Okay? So you just had the so-called white man that said he's Jewish. He admits that the real Jews are black. But you still sit over there talking about, I'm a child of God. You wasn't even understanding what was going on right here. Okay? Because why? We've been lied to in history. We've been lied to in the school systems. We've been lied to in the church systems. Okay? You've been lied to by your pastors. Okay? Give me Jeremiah 23 verse 1. Finish reading what you got here. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, right? against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, right? You oh, only. Say what? You, you only. only. So if I say you only, sir, stand to the side, is that talking to everybody? 
If I say you only having a helmet, does everybody have a helmet? That means what? Only you have a helmet, right? A helmet? Say you only have I known of all, all the, the families, families of the earth. earth. So God said only Israel, he knows of all the families of the earth. This is not my word, this is in the Bible. That's right. Read on. Therefore, I will punish you. Therefore what? I will punish you. That's why we, we're in the ghettos and the slums. That's why we're the last high, the first fire. That's why you got the guy said, I can't breathe. And the guy came up to me and told me, well, it was all right for them to kill the man because he was on drugs. Yeah, the guy was just out here. That's the justification. So now, that's not the first person I heard say that. So you're telling me just because, and that, was, that, that wasn't even a true statement, but you're telling me because he was on drugs, the, the car was justified to kill the man? You so that's telling you this is the mindset of the so-called white man and the other people. Because what? They see us as what? According to the American Constitution, we are still considered three-fifths of the man. Tell me I'm lying. We are Tell me I'm lying. But you see. But there's no but. It's either it is or it's not. I just witnessed this another way and I never looked at it like this because whatever you'll be doing, this is come to your come to reality. So I live in reality. I don't think of nothing that's gonna happen to me unless I'm hoping that it's going to happen. So I have a friend of mine. And I never thought death could happen so sudden. And I'm not speaking of the opposite that's going on. I'm just saying as far as cops in general, not just the white man, just period, bro. So they say when you get into altercation with the person, if you look unstable, protect yourself at all times. Because I had a guy, he had an altercation with a guy. Fist fist, he on the floor, rest tussling with the guy. He pulled out the thing, stabbed him, killed him in front of him. Thousands of people outside. Thousands. That person lost his life just like in the infant, just in the scuffle. So imagine a cop dealing with people that's unstable. I'm not saying the George death, but I'm saying when you're a cop. It's about a lot of the cops are unstable. No, right. no, no, no. I'm just saying, you know, how, I'm just saying, you see. You know, you know how many of those cops are on drugs and alcohol? Oh no, I already know. So that. what are you talking about? They're unstable. No, I'm just saying. That the, the guy, he was I unstable. Not, I'm not speaking of the guys that died drunk. That, 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 that you with me? No, but you said guy. they deal with a lot of people unstable. They themselves are unstable. You just understand? Did you just understand what I said, right? So, like I said, we ain't working security. If I come across a person, just like just the other day, I'm more alert for my health and my life. You can get in a tussle with a person and trying to slow them down. You don't know what's going on in the person's mind. Like I told you, they had this guy. Well, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question, brother. Yeah. What was the purpose of him being on the ground in the first place? Did did he do, was did something that he did for him to be on the ground in the first place? Oh, I'm not speaking of. Oh, we speak. Oh, you speaking of that? Oh no, I already know that's not the. Oh, I already know he killed. Well, this that, that's not the first incident. Oh, okay. I already, I already know that. Read that. Book of Lamentations, chapter four, verse eighteen. Right? They hunt our steps. They what? They, they hunt, hunt our, our steps. steps. Why? Because why? We walking while we black. Okay. The only thing we do, we walk while we black. That's right. it. Okay. You committed. You committed a crime. Cause I'm walking while I'm black, okay? So-called black. Read it again. They hunt our steps. So they hunt our steps, come on. That we cannot go in our streets. That what? That, that we, we cannot, cannot go, go in our, our streets. Street. Right, cause we are target, cause what? Our skin makes us guilty. Okay, come on. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is come. For what? For, For our, our end, end is come. come. Come on. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of heaven. They're what? Yeah. They are swifter than the eagles of heaven. What's the emblem of America? Yeah. The national bird. The eagle. Read it again. Our persecutors. Our per what, what does it mean? What is a persecute? Persecute. You bring judgment. You punish somebody, right? Read it again. Our persecutors. Our persecutors, come on. Are swifter. Then the eagles, the eagle, come on, of the heaven. So it's giving you a clue who the persecutor is. Come on. They pursued us upon the mountains. Wait. They laid wait for us in the wilderness. The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, was taken in their pits. Come on. Of whom we said, under His shadow we shall live why among they, the heathen. Why did they crucify Christ? If, if, if everybody say Christ, Christ taught love, right? If Christ taught love, why did they crucify him? 
Because these are the same black men that they that they killed today. He's the same black man in the past. What you got? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 64 and verse 4. Right? That they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They do what? Shoot at him and fear not. Right, so they come out here and we see them no justice, no peace. Right? Because they feel they have a right to lock us up, throw us behind bars, kill us on the street. Now the guy said, well, he was a, he was on drugs. That's their justification. Okay? So what is the future of America? Is America gonna go on to year 2030, 2050? America's the, 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 the future of America is destruction. Christ, the so-called black man, is coming back to destroy America. To put the 12 tribes of Israel back in rulership to rule the earth. Because why? Because this earth is in topsy turvy. Give me a um, when a wicked when a wicked bear rule. Book of Second Edris, chapter 6 and verse 57. Right? And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, these what? These heathen, these heathen, these other nations, come on, which have ever been reputed as nothing. The Most High said they were nothing from the beginning, come on, have begun to be lords over us. You say they're ruling over us, come on, and to devour us, and to do what? And, and to, to devour, devour us, they devour us, brother. We in the kettles in the slums. Okay, 90, 90, 90, 95 percent of the people locked up is what? So called blacks and Hispanics. Right? The other, what, the other nation, they don't commit crime. They have, well, you got white collar crimes and uh, blue collar crimes. Right? So there's a distinction. Come on. But we, thy people. But we, thy people, come on. Whom thou hast called thy firstborn. See, the firstborn, the nation of Israel, that's who you are. You are an Israelite. That's right. You're not an African. You're not American. You're not uh, Haitian, Jamaican. No. You're not colored. You're not Asiatic. Okay. Come on. Thy only begotten right. and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. See, we were given to them. That's why you see movies like Roots. 12 Years of a Slave, Mandingo. Okay? When you were in school, did they give you an explanation? Why do we have, why do we go to slavery? What about you, sir? Why do so-called black men have, why do we go to slavery? Do you know? Why did it? No? Who's got a Bible dictionary? Come closer. We are, we're not going to jump you, man. Why do you think they have movies like Roots or, or Max Digger 12 years in slavery? Because in this society, they teach that what? That all men are created equal, right? Is there an equality in, in America, would you say, sir? No. So that's a lie, right? That's a facade. It's not actually so. Okay? So now, you are fortunate enough to, to appear before the true service of God in these last days. Okay? That's giving you the truth according to the Bible because now, how old are you? You're 28? So from, from one years old to 28, you've been lied to. Now you're hearing the truth here today. This is a truth that, you've been, that you're going to hear for the first time in your life. Right? Give me Jeremiah 16, I'll, I'll pause the inheritance line, 16, 19. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29, in verse 2. Right. When the righteous are in authority, come on. the people rejoice. The what? The people rejoice. The people rejoice, come on. But when the wicked bearers rule. With what? But when the wicked bearers rule. So now by process of elimination, read on. The people mourn. The people mourn. So by process of elim elimination, now the Bible says when the people, when the when the righteous are authority, the people rejoice, right? It says when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So now according to that verse, would you say there's a righteous government or a wicked government right now? It's a wicked, right? Because why? The majority of the people are mourning. Right? In a little while, the COVID-19 vaccine is going to be mandatory. Right? And they already have people saying there's side effects. You saw the white woman that got the shot, she passed out right there. You saw it, you saw it, right? I'm not taking it. But what if they may come up with a law? Ain't no law. They, they coming out with a law. I fight to the death. Yeah, that's, that's what it's gonna be to the death. A lot of people, because why? Give me Michael 2 and 10. Precept. 
can give to your children. Or you, you know. Right, they pass a law mm -hmm. that they can immunize your child without your permission. Yep. Yeah. You don't know what's going on? That's why we out here. That's why we out here, brother. That's why we out here educating our people and letting you know that what? We got to put our trust in the Most High God. The God of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of this Bible. Because without him, you don't have no protection these last days. Read that. The book, the book of the prayer of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 8. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of the lawless enemies. We did what? Thou delivered, delivered us into the hands of the lawless enemy. So the Most High delivered us into the hands of the lawless enemy. Because according to the Bible, the Most High created Adam and Eve. They passed laws for Adam and Steve to get married. That's lawless. You got here in America, people having sex with animals, bestiality. Right? That's lawless. Right? Come on. Most hateful forsakers of God. And to an unjust king. Right, they're unjust. Okay. Even though they say that all men are credit equal, there's no equality here. There's one law for the white man and another law for the children of Israel. You believe that, right? Read on. And the most wicked. And what? And the most wicked. And the most wicked. And the most wicked. In all the world. In what? In all the world. In all the world. Man, you can't make this thing up, man. The most high, the most high is awesome. Man. That out. <laughs> That's a head chopper right world, there. Man. You gotta read that again from the top. <laughs> the prayer of Isaiah, chapter one and verse eight. You even got our sis over here. And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies. Your queen now, right? Your queen, right? Come on. Most hateful most forsakers most of God. Most what? Most hateful forsakers of God. Most forsakers of God, come on. And to an unjust king. And to a what? And, and to, to an, an unjust, unjust king. king. Right? And the most no. wicked in all the world. And what? And, and the, the most wicked in all the world. The most I said, the most wicked in all the world. Right? So you never heard the Bible told like this before, right? No, you used to that John 3 says, For God so loved the world and he gave, gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you see, whosoever, right. believe in him, shall not hurt my ass. Not the last tonight. Can I get an amen? Amen. See, that's what you're used to. <laughs> you're not going to, that's the one. You got to go on the corner for that. Okay? We're going to teach you the truth right here. That's right. Right. Okay. Give me, give me Isaiah 8, verse 20. <coughs> this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 8. And verse 20. Come on. To the law. To the what? To, to the, the law. law. Come on. And to the testimony. So it says to the law and to the testimony. Come on. If they speak not according to this word. See, if they speak not according to this word. Come on. It is because there is no life in them. Right. If you're a pastor, you're a preacher, they're not teaching about the law, and the commandments, the testimony, the prophets. There's no light. There's no understanding in them. Oh, yeah. I already know that. I already know that. You preach right. right here. As soon as I was like, so your identity, you are a Hebrew Israel according to the Bible. Where is your father from? My father is Russian. I call Levi, right? I call it, right? How you doing? How you doing, man? I call it, right? So you are a special tribe. Moses came out of your tribe. Miriam, Aaron. Okay. Haiti was the first country to get independent. Right? I'm Haitian. He wasn't Haitian. You got to come back to the nation, huh? Alright, no, no, brother, you gotta you gotta come amongst like men. You gotta get on this side. Stop being an individualite. Okay, and become an Israelite. You an individualite, become an Israelite. You an individualite, become an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Read. Book of Sirach, chapter 37, and verse 12. But be continually with a godly man. With do what? Be continually with a godly man. See, be continually around godly men. Come on. Whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. That what? Who, that what thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. That you know that these brothers that you with, that they keep the commandments just like you keep the commandments. Okay, come on. Whose mind is according to thy mind. See, we on the same mind left. You know what I'm saying? Right? And will sorrow with thee. And what? And will we'll sorrow, sorrow with thee. thee. Right, so when you go through something, we go through something. Because you are a brother. Right? You are a brother from another mother. Right? Read that. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and verse 25. Come on. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Read that again. 
not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. We can't forsake. We always got to come together, right? This is this is so-called um, Christmas Eve, right? We could have been doing other stuff, but we came out here. The Most High commanded us. He said, "Listen, what's your name? Huh? Henry." Henry is going to be out there riding his motorcycle. I want y'all to go to Miami. We don't really, we haven't taught a Miami Beach in how a couple of months. But what? The Most High God, He wanted you to get this word tonight. That's right. He wanted you to hear this word tonight. So He made us come all the way out here from Fort Lauderdale because He knew you was going to be out here and He wanted you to hear the word. So you're that special. I think I a couple of times I passed y'all. Now you didn't probably another group, but not us. Because if we, if we got, if we, you saw us, we would have grabbed you. We would have got you. We would have got your number. If we had you in the headlock. We would have had you. <laughs> okay, well, we are not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Come on, as the manner of some is. See, some people do that. Some people don't want to get together with their brothers, right? But the most side said that's that's the yeah. sin. Oh, not to come together with your brothers, right? Book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Yeah. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather, Gather yourselves together. together. Do what? Gather, Gather yourselves together. together. Gather yourselves together. Come on. Yeah. Gather together. Oh nation not, not desire. Oh nation not desire. Where that nation has not desire. Come on. Before the decree bring forth. Before the day pass as the shaft. Really? Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Before what? Before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you. Most high, come for you. Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when y'all come for you? Read it again. Book of Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together, O nation not desire. Right, where that nation has not desired. Right? What did Trump say Haiti was? You want a world? You want a water? No, I'll do that, yeah. I'll keep that thing. Oh, yeah, we got we got Trump. Jewish dead. What did he say? He said Haiti was a what? Uh, uh, S H I T hole? Right. Yeah. It's the truth. It's the truth. Listen, Haiti's the most beautiful land. Not his contacts. I, I see, I'm a guy of understanding. So when somebody says something, just because you are, I study your character and trying to see what. I think he had to say, Haiti's a shithole place because the people that runs Haiti. So. Not necessarily Haiti shithole, like Haiti shithole. He mean the people who runs it makes it a shithole. Listen, that's how I look at it. You look at it wrong because guess what? After Papa Doc, after yeah. Duvalier, all them leaders, all them leaders they put in there, America put those leaders there. That's why they wanted to get them out. All these countries where you see these leaders at, guess who put them there? America. Why didn't they want to get Castro out of Cuba? Because they want to be able to put who they want to be in that that can control. Right. So that's not true with what you just said. That's not, that's not true. I mean, I, like I said, I was just trying to look at. You know what I'm saying? Know, All those leaders that that you see, those those puppet leaders, America goes in and infiltrate. Because Haiti, Haiti should not be in poverty. They they cause these countries to be in poverty. See Nikki too? Huh? Of course. Come on, this guy used to pull his pants down on mute. This guy used to pull his pants down. You know what I mean is when they down. You know, they're not going to put somebody there that's going to stand up for the country. They're going to put somebody there that they can manipulate, that they can control. You understand? So then I'm going to bring up my next, the, my captain going to further edify in this truth. Another Levite, Haitian brother. You know what I'm saying? Paul, you, you speak Creole? Paul, Creole, you can Paul, Creole, Anglais, Espanol, anything. You know what I'm saying? We break it down. Shalom. Hallelujah.